Actress Shirley MacLaine may be 90 years old, but she doesn't let age slow her down. She's been spotted recently dining out in Malibu, rocking comfortable and colorful outfits. It's said that the award-winning actress has long owned a residence in Malibu as well as a ranch in Santa Fe, New Mexico. While Shirley's actually a Virginia native, it's said she's long been splitting time between her properties. Not to mention, Shirley's New Mexico ranch had quite the interesting story. Some years back, Shirley's interests expanded into new age subjects such as metaphysics and the impact of politics involved with our advancement into outer space and the like. Shirley's especially fascinated with UFO experiences and has been interviewed multiple times by Larry King on CNN as well as on NBC and Fox News channels. On The Oprah Show in 2011, she recounted multiple UFO sightings at her New Mexico ranch. Plaza Blanca Ranch, as it's called, includes a main house with a caretaker's cottage, a swimming pool, two ponds, a horse barn, various ranch buildings, a yurt, and much more. Under the main house, there's an apartment with a living room, kitchen, and four bedrooms designed to resemble a Native American kiva, which was traditionally used for spiritual ceremonies. Completely off-grid, the property is powered by solar panels and a wind generator. Imagination is the one trait Shirley MacLaine believes can lead to an exciting and productive life. When she delivered the commencement speech to the first graduating class of the New Mexico School of the Arts, her message to those just starting out in life was to remember that there is nothing more important than imagination. Throughout Shirley's personal and professional life, from the roles that she has chosen to the places she's lived, she's always demonstrated imagination, excitement, and productivity. Shirley MacLaine, born Shirley MacLaine Beatty in 1934 in Richmond, Virginia, was one of Hollywood's most esteemed actresses. She has a career that began in 1955 with her Golden Globe winning performance in Alfred Hitchcock's The Trouble with Harry. Her accomplishments include winning the Oscar for Best Actress in 1984 for Terms of Endearment, earning Italian and German Oscars, three Emmys, and 10 Golden Globes. She starred in over 50 films, received six Academy Award nominations, and authored nine international bestsellers. Despite these achievements, Shirley remains down to earth, much like a beloved next door neighbor. As an actress, author, and the older sister of Warren Beatty, Shirley has been an advocate for civil rights, women's rights, political activism, and the evolution of spiritual understanding. Shirley MacLaine's love life has been as fascinating as her career. In 1954, she married businessman Steve Parker. The couple had an unconventional marriage, famously allowing each other the freedom to pursue other relationships. McLean has often spoken candidly about their open marriage, reflecting on it with a sense of honesty and acceptance. Despite their unique arrangement, they remained married for nearly three decades before divorcing in 1982. Shirley McLean has one daughter, Sashi Parker, born in 1956. Sachi's relationship with her mother has been complex, often strained by McLean's demanding career and unconventional parenting style. In her memoir, Sachi detailed the challenges of growing up with a famous mother who was frequently absent due to her work. Despite these difficulties, the bond between mother and daughter has actually endured through the years. Beyond her acting career, McLean's well known for her deep interest in spirituality and the metaphysical. She's written numerous books on these subjects, sharing her beliefs and experiences with a wide audience. Titles like Out on a Limb and Dancing in the Light have become bestsellers, offering insights into her spiritual journey and beliefs in reincarnation, extraterrestrial life, and alternative healing practices. Shirley also has a special interest in UFO experiences and has been interviewed multiple times by Larry King on CNN, on NBC, and Fox News. Back on The Oprah Show in 2011, she recounted multiple UFO sightings at her New Mexico ranch. McLean's home life reflects her eclectic and spiritual personality. She's owned several properties, each reflecting her love for nature, tranquility, and introspection. One of her most notable residences is her ranch in Abiqui, New Mexico. This sprawling property, known as Plaza Blanca Ranch, offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape and serves as a sanctuary for McLean. The ranch has a main house filled with eclectic art and memorabilia from her travels and career, and extensive land for her beloved animals. 
Shirley's a strong advocate for animal rights and has enjoyed spending time with her horses, dogs, and other animals in the ranch. The property even has a private meditation room where she practices various forms of spiritual exercises. Let's take a deeper look at this one-of-a-kind property. Shirley McLean always loved living at her New Mexico property. On the Oprah show in 2011, when she was talking about the UFO sightings, it was at this very ranch. I looked into this house exactly like this, not intending to buy a house. And I saw this view, and I sensed there was a stairway there, and I sensed that a dancer died at the top of the stairway. Plaza Blanca Ranch, her refuge from a very confused and conflicted world, as she described it in the past to the Wall Street Journal, popped up for sale just last year for $4.3 million. The Pueblo Sao property has its own distinct spiritual vibe, while outside it's set in the mountains and surrounded by trees. The 4.7 acre property also offers trails and mountain views at every turn. Located in Abiqui, New Mexico, about an hour's drive north of Santa Fe, the ranch includes a main house of nearly 10,000 square feet with three official bedrooms and six baths. Elsewhere, there's a caretaker's cottage, a swimming pool, two ponds, a horse barn, various ranch buildings, equipment, and a yurt. Two of those bathrooms are part of the spacious primary suite, which also includes a large walk-in closet and access to an enclosed deck with stunning views. Under the main house, there's an apartment with a living room, kitchen, and four bedrooms, designed to resemble a Native American kiva, traditionally used for spiritual ceremonies. The ranch also features a greenhouse and chicken coop, providing a year-round food source. Completely off-grid, the property is powered by solar panels and a wind generator. The ranch's unusual geological formations inspired many of artist Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings. O'Keeffe's home and studio were also in this area. One of her most famous paintings, The White Place, Plaza Blanca Cliffs, was painted on what is now Shirley's Ranch, for which the ranch is named. When Shirley bought the ranch 20 years ago, one of her first projects was building a stone labyrinth on Crystal Mountain. The Sacred Labyrinth Walk, an ancient practice of circling to the center, provides a walking path for meditation, where she can view the plateau of Paderno Mountain. For Shirley, it always offered a peaceful space for contemplation and spiritual connection. The home boasts arched passageways, rounded walls and corners, natural wood beams and kiva fireplaces. The inviting kitchen features wood cabinets, blue tiles and butcher block and stainless steel counters. A cozy curved banquette and numerous windows allow for a ton of natural light. Among the home's most striking features are the top floor high ceiling studio and patio, which can be accessed separately from the rest of the house. This space is ideal for an artist, but it could also serve as a library, office or guest accommodations. Despite the property's seemingly remote setting, it's actually very close to the Bishop Lodge's resort and only minutes from the plaza downtown area, with its restaurants, shops, and much more. So far, a buyer for this unique home hasn't come forward. Records indicate that Shirley has enjoyed this property since 2005 and first listed it on the market in May 2023 for $4.95 million. In July, the price was reduced to its current level. While this next home is more of a piece of history, it's still relevant to Shirley McLean's journey. A home that came up for sale in Los Angeles a handful of years ago, more specifically an Encino's upscale Royal Oaks enclave, was actually where Shirley lived from the late 1960s through the mid-1970s. During this time, she starred in films like Women Times Seven, Sweet Charity, and Two Mules for a Sister Sarah alongside Clint Eastwood. When she wasn't on location filming, McLean regularly entertained luminaries like Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin at this Woodville Road property. The 4.62 acre estate is set beyond a nearly 1,000 foot driveway and is double gated and surrounded by towering trees as well as mature landscaping. 
amazing. There are also amazing sweeping views of the valley from all over. One of the home's many highlights is its championship north-south professionally lit tennis court, which also offers a web or pavilion set under a shaded area. The expansive park-like grounds feature manicured grassy lawns, multiple open-air patios, an above-ground spa, a detached pool cabana with bath, and an oversized patio with a fireplace. Reminiscent of a classic old world Beverly Hills estate, the over 6,000 square foot, six bedroom, 6.5 bath residence exudes sophistication. An abundance of natural light floods the interior through numerous French doors and walls of windows, creating a warm and inviting space. Grand scale common rooms dominate the timeless floor plan and include a living room with fireplace, a family room with wet bar, and a custom mantled fireplace a banquet-sized formal dining room, and an Eden kitchen. These days, Shirley MacLaine may have long moved on from that property, but it's reported that she still enjoys splitting her time between Los Angeles and New Mexico. Most of her time, in fact, seems to be spent in Malibu, where she has also lived for many years. However, her home here is kept quite private, and we don't really know much about it. After looking at Shirley's homes, we can see her unique taste and personality shine through in the residences that she's loved over the years, especially that New Mexico ranch. Shirley MacLaine's legacy extends beyond her impressive body of work in film and TV. She's inspired many with her fearless exploration of unconventional ideas and her willingness to live life on her own terms. Today, Shirley MacLaine continues to act occasionally, write, and engage in spiritual practices, enjoying a life full of her varied interests and a deep connection to nature and the metaphysical world. Her story is one of a woman who continuously went out to understand herself and the universe, leaving a mark on the world through her work and personal journey. That wraps up today's house tour, but before we go, answer this question for me. If you had a ranch in New Mexico, would you be spending some time looking for UFOs? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you never miss a video, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, thank you for joining, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do, and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget, even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.